Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Ki hal chal? I hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to see about check if a word occurs as a prefix of any word in a sentence. It simply says that we are given a sentence. A sentence is made up of multiple such words. I am given a search word. I have to tell if I can see this search word as a prefix of any word. individual word in the sentence which means this is an individual word this is one such individual word this is next this is next so in any of these is it coming as a prefix which means in the beginning if yes then give the corresponding location as you can see if i distribute this sentence into a string array then it will be i next next will be love next will be eating and next will be cat sorry burger so with that reason i will see that burger is coming at the index 0 1 2 3 i have to just tell the location which is again one based location now the very 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 basic stuff which comes to our mind is simply do the same thing i did what i firstly took this specific sentence then i did a split on the basis of space then whatever string array i got i simply checked if the search word starts with search sorry if this word starts with this specific search word or not if yes then that specific again they are saying if there are multiple such indexes give the first one so if yes give the minimum index so if yes then simply return that specific index plus 1 i'll do the exact same stuff I will simply split my sentence again. As you can see on the right side, we also have the C++ code. Again, we have to use string stream for it. So you see that we will simply split by space. We will get the corresponding words array. Now I will simply iterate on all of the element of my words array itself and check if that words i if it starts with my search word. If yes, then simply return one based index. ultimately if not then return a minus one that's a simple approach again as you can see the time used here to split the entire array on the basis of space will be o of n because the string length is sentence length is n and let's say search word length is m to go on to all the words i have let's say n words but in total in total their length in total their length words of i for all the words combined in their length will be n so in the worst case i am iterating over n i am iterating over n as the characters and search word doesn't matter because even if it is it will actually be pretty less so that also doesn't matter and even if it matters it will be just a plus m that's it so this is the complexity again this is a very simple smooth code using the element function python also has starts with function Uh, C++ doesn't have it. C++ has fine, but for that you have to convert it or you have to split it. So that splitting is done by string stream itself. Now the question is actually how to solve it in the more algorithmic way. Okay, simply do the same thing what this inbuilt string inbuilt starts with would have done. What it would have done? It was simply used a two pointer. How I will use a two pointer? I have the given input string sentence. I have the given search word. i just have to check firstly i have to split it i have to split it and then after splitting just check if these two words are actually starting or not so there is first operation first operation is split it second operation is check if those two strings which mean those two means one word from here another from here if this word starts with this word check if those two string starts again starts with x y z so for the first portion obviously what i can do is i can make a string words array and i can split it considering i have split it i will keep my i pointer in the beginning j pointer here and i will keep on iterating until things are same this is same okay move my i i will move my i okay again it is same i'll move my i okay again it is same i'll move my i okay again it is sorry yeah again it is same i'll move my i okay 
But as I moved my I now, oh, I have reached my J end. If the J has reached end, obviously I will have to stop. So now if the J has reached end, obviously I have found the first match and that's what I was looking for. So this specific, I can name it as any specific thing. Let's say it is as current word position. So this is the current word position, which I will be maintaining. I'll just mention the location, the position was a four. So current word position was a four and that's your answer. But you saw that you had to do two passes here. First pass was to split the entire sentence to individual word. When the split is done, then using two pointers. Can you improvise this? Can you improvise this? Obviously, yes. How? Simply, you know, split ultimately means splitting by spaces. And again, make sure there can be multiple spaces in between also. Here, if I had I, space, space, love, let's say, and space and then prefix. So this empty would also have come up, right? So you have to also take in consideration that this, if, if you see the output of this string array, this will also say, okay, one, one empty, one empty string will also be here. So make sure that you also take in consideration that although if you read back the question, sentence consists of lowercase English letters and spaces. Search word consists of lowercase letters only. There is nothing mentioned as such that you will say, okay, between each single word in the sentence, there is just one spaces. So it can be anything, any configuration whatsoever. Now coming on back, what I will do? What I will do? I will simply use two pointers and just while using the two pointers, I will maintain the space. Firstly, I will say, okay, uh, is my word of I, again, sentence of I, is it equal to uh, search word of J? No, obviously not. So, okay, it is not matching, which means my loop breaks. But still, when I say my loop breaks, I have to still make sure that I am going towards the next I, which is the next character. How I will do it? Firstly, when I mentioned that it did not match, make sure that you complete this. Obviously, I will maintain a variable called as current word position. So far, the current word position was a one. I will simply have a check. It doesn't match. Okay, the first cut itself didn't match. But then I have to iterate it and go next to the next word. Okay, I will simply iterate on this entire thing. I, I'll show what I mean by that. But then I am here now. Okay, I have space. So keep on going through the spaces and increasing your search word of I because one space indicates that, okay, one character has gone. This is the next character coming up. I'll increase my space and then I will make it as two. Now I am at L. Now you will see, understand much more better. L match with B? No, it doesn't. Which means that this word is not good for me. Which means I have to run for the next word. Which means firstly, make sure to go through every, every of this character and ultimately you will be iterating here. You will reach here at this specific space. Now you have to again make what if, what if there had been two spaces, which means you have to also take in consideration this empty one. Either you can take one space, compare this, then go to next space, or simply as you know that this is empty, empty will never be compared with this because obviously my search word itself length is more than equal to one. It is not empty. So you will simply say, okay, take this space, increase the value by three. I is here. Then take this space, increase the value by uh, one. I is here. So now you see one, two, three. This is the fourth. This is the fourth word. Right. Again, I have taken one more space in the question. It was not given, not given one more space. So make sure that part. Then again, I compare sentence of I with the burger of J. Sorry, uh, with the search word of J. It's not matching. Oh, in that case, simply this is not a good match. Keep on iterating and reach the end. Then, oh, I got a space. Moment I got a space. Okay, I'll increase my I and I, I'll also increase, like I'll increase my current word position and I'll also increase my I. Then again, I will now do the same stuff. If I show you with the help of a code, again, as you can see, Java code is here, C++ code is here. Here is just two pointers, so it's pretty same. In this, as you can see, firstly, I had, I'm simply trying to go to the entire sentence. That is iterating I. 
here I have the case where I am checking what all, if I have spaces simply increase my current word position and also keep on increasing my i as I was doing here that imagine my i was here I got a space I increase my current word position and I also increase my i then I got a space I increase my current word position I also increase my i then after this loop I will actually be landing on to a non-space character non-space character what does that non-space character now which means if I am on a non-space character I should compare the search word of j with the sentence of i so I'll compare the search word of j with the sentence of i but make sure that the j is in the bounds and also i is also in the bounds if yes then keep on comparing them and keep on increasing them if i get out of this loop either the i was exceeded or the j was exceeded if the j has exceeded or has reached its length which means i have found one word that my search word is a prefix of that specific word either same or prefix in that case return the corresponding word position which you had been maintaining so far and even if you do whatsoever let's say here it doesn't match if it doesn't match it will break out from here right to break out from here if it doesn't match it will also break out from here in that scenario make sure that you go on to next non-space character like next space character which means all the non-space character was belonging to this specific word which I was at I initially so make sure that you go on to the next space character which is this character so I made sure that I'm going on to the next space character, which means for all the non-space characters which I am at right now considering it did not match considering if it did not match obviously it will be still landing on to a non-space character so make sure to iterate through all the non-space characters and reach the ultimate space character with this and as I go on to my next loop I will go through my space characters reach here as a non-space character check if actually I was able to reach the length of my j which means the search word if not okay if yes then simply return if not then go through all the non-space characters and make sure to land on to a new space character and again repeat the loop with this I am doing this in one pass only right the time here will be o of n because you are trading on the entire thing and plus m now you might say are in m times you are iterating on the search word you will try again for the worst case scenario if my search word is burg then I am going bur 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 yeah obviously but still bur 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 g still you are doing one thing that you are going on to each character of your input sentence of length n that's the worst case so technically this is the corresponding worst case that's it again as you can see there is no extra space used so space will be o of 1 cool i hope you guys got it again it's good it's pretty uh, good to write this kind of specific questions they are more of implementation based right cool bye bye see ya and there's the chances of getting your things you know bit edge cases and stuff but yeah bye bye take care